Okay. All right. Hi, my name's Yvonne, and this is my mum, Dorothy. Hello. So we're going to record her story um, chapter by chapter, but I thought I'd, we would do a bit of an overview of who she is and um, uh, where we are today. So Who where, am I? Yeah, who are you? If you had to describe yourself. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just an old woman now. <laughs> You didn't start as an old woman. Uh, well, I didn't start as an old woman. So when, where, how old are you now? I'm 79. Mm-hmm. And we're currently in in Sydney? Sydney. Australia? Yeah. Um, and where were you born? I was born in Shanghai, China. And um, tell me about your family. So you were born to a mum. And what was your mum, what did your mum do? She was just a housewife. Mm-hmm. And your dad? My dad was a merchant mm-hmm. doing business. Yeah. Um, and what year were you born? 1942. From Shanghai. Yeah. In Shanghai. Yeah. yeah. And what about your, your siblings? You had a few siblings. Oh, it was four of us in the family. Mm-hmm. So my older brother was two years older than me. Mm-hmm. Then my younger sister, Nancy, who was three years younger than me. And my baby brother was five years younger than me. Okay. Um, so your your oldest brother's name is Patrick? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's just the... So you all live together, or, or six of you? Yeah, yeah. From so, the beginning. Yeah. Um, so when you were... Uh, when you uh, were first born, you were um, with your your brother. Obviously, was already mm. in in play. Yes. And you were telling us you lived in a small house at the uh, time. It's an old Shanghai house. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just the ground floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, you share the kitchen with others, and mm-hmm. uh, you have a courtyard, and it only has one bedroom and a big sitting room. Uh, we have a maid, mm. an old maid who who does all the cooking and everything. And uh, I remember it was a big courtyard. It had they have a lot of uh, wood for fire and the coal for uh, cooking, mm-hmm. and uh, in the yard. And there's a back door to go out. I remember that mm. was. This has no toilet. You no. Do, you do the business in the bedroom, and they have a little. So it's like like a kamo chair, but it's a pot. Yeah. A matong, like just yeah, as yeah, in a yeah, just a wooden one. A wooden one. Okay. Yeah, in the morning, you uh, I think around three or four, you take it out, and people will come and empty it for you. Oh, okay. So there's a service that would empty yeah, it out, yeah, and yeah. then early in the morning, and very early. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. And so, do you do your your big 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 job, annual little job in there. Yeah. Yeah, everything well, in there. Well, we have other things to do, in, but those four uh, were for adults. Ah, oh, okay. The one in the bedroom. But mm-hmm. we, when we were little, we have potties outside. Mm-hmm. And and did they have, like, lids, or do you just put a, a piece of... They have lids. They all have lids, yeah, okay. Yeah. I can't understand how people can do everything in that room <laughs> <laughs> to think of. It's yeah. just terrible. <laughs> and you said that there was no running water or anything like that. No, no, no. They, you, you, you have tap water at that uh, in that house. I remember. Oh, okay. So you can turn uh, the tap on, and yeah. the water, water would come out. Yeah, mm. that's called self come water jiloi so. Ah, self come water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, if you need any hot water, I remember there's a how. I think next two houses, there's a place you buy hot water, by the pots and. Uh, uh, so how big would a pot be? Like two liters? Well, 10 I don't liters? know. It was very, very more than ten liters. Oh. I think, you just uh, people just go and buy that and go, you know, go home and have a bath or things like that. Oh. You don't have bathrooms or yeah. bathtubs or anything. So, if you were to buy some hot water to take it home. How do you store the hot water? You don't store it. You, you don't store it. it. When you want to, you just go and buy some. That's it. How far away do you have just to Just about two shops next oh, to our okay. house. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, our house should be very centered when I went back and had a look at it because it's near the horse racing place. Mm. And where 
Uh, no, it's a it's a park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when you say it's a horse racing place, is it a race track, or where uh, they bet? I can't remember. Oh, okay, it's, <laughs> that, that, that's what I call heard him, them saying near the horse racing place. Ah, okay. And so, when you take the hot water home, you just is it like a bucket that you have the water in, or do you? I, tip I it remember something? they they take a a big pot. Don't get have the hot water. When you say big pot, like a a saucepan pot or a, uh, a big bucket, um, like a pail. Uh, yeah, a pail. Oh. And then you just carry like someone would carry it so, home. Your yeah. servant would carry it home. Yeah. I was too young to know that. Yeah, yeah. So you said you had uh, a maid. Yeah. Did she live with you as well? Yeah, yeah. They, what? <laughs> at that time, all the maids come to your place is from their village mm. when they cannot make any money. So mm-hmm. they come out to Shanghai and uh, uh, become a maid in a house. Mm-mm. And they can make the money and take it home and build houses and do that. Mm. So a lot of people from the village side, they come to Shanghai just to do that. Mm. And when they live with you, they like one of your member of the family. They do all your sewing and everything for you. Mm. It's like, uh, you know, you have a, another mother there. No. So you just had, you had one mate there? At, at the, the time, time yeah. one mate, yeah. yes. So you lived there till. Oh, actually, did you rent the? Do you know if you were renting? I think or? it's renting. Yeah, it's right. renting. And that's most common. Is just most yeah, people yeah, just renting yeah, the places, yeah. right? Yeah. Um. So then you moved. Um. How after my you? sister was born in 1945, on the double ten day, you know, mm-hmm. the national day, and when they were uh, having a lot of parade in a, on the street. My mother started to want to go to the hospital to have the baby. <laughs> so she was born that day. On 1010. Yeah, yeah. 1945. Yeah. Um, so 1945. So when, when, how old were you then? Then you were Oh, it's three. Three, three yeah. years old. So you wouldn't remember anything, <laughs> really? I just remember, I remember that I was, you know, outside, looking outside for the parade. Mm-hmm. And my mother was starting to call someone to help her. So she went to the hospital mm-hmm. and came back with the baby girl. Mm. And so with the hospital, was that far away? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I was told I was born in that hospital too. As well, yeah. okay, All right. Because you were telling me that Uncle Patrick was born yeah. at home. Yeah, and he was a bridge presentation too. So it was very hard, the doctor. And when he came out, I think he was blue all over and they have to smack him and do anything <laughs> to make him cry. Mm. And then I heard that he's uh, taking some um, fluid in his throat, so his lung wasn't oh. expanding very well. Mm-hmm. And that's all give him a very bad health mm. later. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and so um, you're still all living in the same one bedroom yeah, place yeah, with yeah, the maid yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. at that point in yeah. time. Um, so when did you move the first time? After my sister was born and uh, Shanghai has changed because uh, there was a victory with the Japanese, so everything was changed and my father's got better job doing interpreting for the Americans and things like that. And uh, my... I think all our financial standards a bit improved. Yeah. And so I think I remember when we moved to St. Paul's apartment, that was the apartment where my father's boss was staying. Mm -hmm. So at that time, you have to pay a lot of money to get into the... You're still renting. You don't own Mm -hmm. that place. So it was a very Western and modern... Uh, apartment there mm-hmm. so we all moved in and uh, live a bit better life there so there's three kids two adults and a maid yeah at that point. Uh, and two maids and yeah. two maids there yeah so that was in around 1946 47 40, 45 still, still 45, 45. So uh, i think 46 it should okay, be 46 so, so auntie nancy was about a yeah, year old yeah. by then okay and so um what was happening you just said that the japanese 
Right. Surrendered. Surrendered. Yeah. From, so prior to that, it was all, did you have to speak Japanese? Or? No, no, I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. I, yeah. uh, none of us speak Japanese. Yeah. And so at the time when you were growing up, when you were like three or so, you were all speaking Shanghainese or... Shanghainese or at home. Yeah. And did you have to learn, like, did you have to speak Mandarin at all? Or everything? No, not at that time. Yeah. It was... I learned uh, Mandarin when I went to school. Ah, okay. Right. So at the time you all spoke just Shanghainese yeah, at home. Yeah. Um, but then the, the Japanese surrendered in about 1945. Yeah, okay. that's right. So at that time, it was back in Chinese, under Chinese rule? What do you mean? Well, you're saying that if the Japanese surrendered, who do they surrender to? Oh, to the Kuomintang, ah, you know, yeah. government. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So was it considered like a peaceful time after yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. very okay. peaceful yeah. at that time. Oh, to me, yes, yeah. it's... So any, everything was relatively good at, the yeah, time, at yeah, that time. Yeah. And you're saying that um, uh, my grandfather, your, your dad, was doing interpretation work? And or? the business. And business, yeah. right. Yeah. And so his English was pretty good? He should be good because he uh, went to St. John's Co- uh, University and quite a lot of them. He got expelled from most of the university. Ah, so he was considered quite a intellectual or like, although he got expelled. Well, <laughs> at that time, yes. Yeah. No, in English is an advantage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, cool. Is there, and, and your mum, did she speak English at all? No, not at all. I remember you telling me years ago that there was a auntie like that was trying to teach you English. Was that like when you were young? Not my auntie, my grandma. Oh, your grandma. My father's mother. Oh. She she went to school with Jiang Kai Shek's wife. Wow. And uh, they all speak English and she speaks very good English. And she used to I think she has small pots. So in the morning she took uh we went to stay with her for a while and she, she likes me so I go and stay with her mm. and she was making me sitting on a stool and when she was making her face with the powder she put into the little hole <laughs> of the smallpox and takes a long time so all the time she was telling you how to speak this English and how to remember it and uh, yeah to her Shanghainese is nothing don't speak Chinese. You speak Mandarin or English. Mm. So I speak. I spoke English in a while for a while, but yeah. I don't know whether you know how to write or spell. Mm. So it sounds like your your dad came from a fairly privileged family. Ah, uh, his family, his mother, my grandmother, mm. and uh, she gave birth to the children, and if her mother my grandmother no great grandmother <laughs> yeah. likes that child and she's she's quite rich she would take this child to her house to educate them and uh, to bring them up mm-hmm. so my grandmother just give away she didn't want to uh, pay any money oh. to give good education to the children so none of her daughters you know did a lot of schooling, I think. So did you have many um, aunts and uncles? Yeah. I, my father has a brother, mm-hmm. an uncle, and uh, then three sisters. Ah, oh, okay. And what was like, is it boy, boy, girl, girl, girl? Uh, <laughs> my father's the eldest, mm-hmm. then the uh, uncle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then my big aunt, my second aunt, my third Yeah, so boy, aunt. boy, yeah, then yeah. go, go, go. Okay. And so did you did you have much to do with your aunts and uncles yeah, yeah. growing up? Uh, uncle, well, we just see each other in the house and say hello, that's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, my big aunt, the first aunt, the eldest aunt, has one, two, three, four children. Mm. So my cousin... Uh, the eldest is a boy. The second, you remember, is uh, Tommy Yang. I don't know if you a very big fellow. And uh, he used to, uh, uh, you wouldn't know because you weren't born yet. He used to carry James around and saying, this is my kid. Should, he should be mine <laughs> because they're both very big. <laughs> 
And then he has a sister, uh, Grace. Yeah, she later came to Hong Kong too. And then a younger brother. So they have three sons and daughter and one daughter. Mm. So it's oh, a fairly right. big family. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then what about so that's your dad's side. Mm. Um what about your grandfather? My friend was, my grandfather died when he was sixty, I think. Oh. And before he died he had typhoid fever. Mm. And then we were all called into the hospital and we were very young then. My me and my brother has to uh donate blood to him. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't understand this, but we did. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my uh, and then uh, caused a lot of problem because my mother kicked up a fuss saying that they ne lo never look after us or give us anything nice and now wants the children's blood. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he died after that. Mm. <laughs> but was, because your dad was the eldest son, mm. did he get um, most of the the responsibility of the family, especially after your... Your grandfather passed away? Oh no, not like that. Because they all are, I should say, separately established financially. Oh. Is that, so, is that was that normal though? Uh, not really. <laughs> okay. Not traditionally. Yeah. I, I don't think so. But mm. it's a strange family arrangement, I mm. would say. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's a, lo a lot of story to tell for that. I only learned it from hearing things, that's yeah. all. So what did what did that family do? Like, so your grandfather and your grandmother, were they were they merchants as well? No, or? my grandfather's a banker. Ah, oh, okay. He's a, a manager of the big bank. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother, well, she's, she didn't do anything. But if she was like school friends, yeah, of yeah, she went the... to a good school and mm. she she learned a lot, but she never did worked. Mm, okay. <laughs> and um, did she come from a, a really rich family as well, or how did that work? She came from a family. My uh, her mother, my great grandma, yeah. uh, we call her Tai Tai, <laughs> and she's really a very small lady but has a lot of uh, authority in her. So she lives in a place in Shanghai, it's very famous, quite near my school. Do you mind? <laughs> and uh, she has a big house, three story high, I think, but it's rented. She did, from what I understand later, it was rented because they were complaining that some of the, uh, how do you call it, the white term. The surrounding walls. Yeah, the surrounding wall was yeah. broken mm -hmm. near the inner garden and mm -hmm. the, they were complaining who's going to pay for it, to repair it and things like that. And I think later on in Hong Kong when I was uh, working already, I met uh, another girl who is the neighbor of that house. Mm. So she tells me quite a bit of story later on about what's happening there. My great grandmother lived to 95, 96. Wow. Yeah. Nice old age. Yeah. And uh, my grandmother died when she was 60 something. So young as well. So you, both your grandfather and your grandmother yeah, died yeah. fairly young. Yeah. yeah. She died with cancer of the liver. Oh. But they didn't want to tell her mother that she died. They just told her that she went to look for uh, Paul, my father, oh. in Hong Kong. So up till she died that day, she oh, didn't she know her daughter's, her, daughter. not, uh, her daughter's in Hong Kong. Yeah. So what about your great-grandmother then, right? So you, you, what about your great-grandfather? Was he around? Never, never, never met him, never oh. heard of him because oh. he died a long time ago oh, and okay. left my... I think my great grandmother is the concubine. Oh, okay. So she wasn't the first wife. She wasn't yeah. the her first wife because she wanted to inherit some of the money. So she uh, adopted one son without telling anybody, saying that's her son. So they they got part of the uh, inheritance from oh. the husband. Right. And that's great grandmother who had <laughs> Paul, uh, who had. 
your grandmother yeah. who had Paul. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Paul being the grandfather <laughs> and my grandfather. Yeah. Um, that's very, very interesting. So did, were they living close by, like your grandmother? So would you visit no, your grandmother? No, or? We, we have to, they have to order a silent Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, when I go there, I still remember the role they were talking about. That's how I got to know uh, quite a bit when we went to claim our house back, mm-hmm. you know. And I said, they call this role. Oh, the, the lady said, this role is what's role the rename yeah. uh, road again. So with the salon, t- 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 you know, that the, yeah. is it a person? A person, it's like riding a tricycle. Oh, okay, right. And it has a seat at the back. Yeah. And uh, you can sit three or five kids there. Uh. <laughs> About two adults mm-hmm. and a kid, to, the guy would just take you. Yeah. And was it, do you remember, was it like most people traveled around yeah, that way? Yeah. And uh, walking or bicycle or that? Is, yeah. that, is that the yeah. usual modes of yeah. transport? If you have a motor car, you, you, you're on the top. <laughs> yeah, but you had a motor car eventually, right? Well, uh, my father used to, yeah, before he had a car, he had a motorcycle mm. with a little sort oh, of ship thing car. on a sidecar. Side car, so yeah. my mother and I sat in there yeah. and my brother sitting the uh, on the bike on the bike with my father so yeah. the whole family goes <laughs> yeah what happened when you got a bigger like when your your sister and your brother came along oh that that's gone already <laughs> <laughs> then he, he had a motor car oh, okay. yeah and you could fit all the kids in the back seat <laughs> yeah <laughs> cram up together uh, mm. um so when you moved into the nicer place in st mm-hmm, paul's mm-hmm. Was that um, in a better place in town as well? Yeah, much better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and at the time, did you have, like, lights? Like, what what was the situation at home in terms of how was the, the electricity? Oh, you have, have poor electricity and uh, hot water. Oh, not hot water. At running that time, I, I, you have running water. Yeah. You still don't have hot water. <laughs> yeah. So you still had to go buy hot water? No, no, no. I think they boiled. Oh, okay, yeah. We have gas, I remember, because oh. I heard the May was talking about how good is the gas. <laughs> <laughs> so you had gas, um, like like we have gas? Is it yeah, kind of yeah, the same yeah, sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, wow, okay. It's not like cylinders of gas. No, they have oven and everything in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Oven? Yeah. Since when do Chinese people use ovens? <laughs> it's in the, it, that apartment's not built for oh, Chinese. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but did you have a bathroom then? Yeah, we have a full bathtub, but I ne- we never. U- I don't think <laughs> we ever used it, because all I c- can remember is my mother's was doing flowers in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> and so you had showers? No, no. It's just wash basin. Yeah, a wash, wash basin, basin, and you have a, a bathtub. If you, I don't know. So, so yeah. how does the wash basin work? It's just a a, a tub of water. And a flannel? A, no, it's like like what we have now. The basin. Oh, the basin, mm. right? With with uh, cold yeah. running water. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, but if you had wanted hot water, you'd have to boil it and yeah, then mix yeah. it together. Okay. And is that what you you just have a English bath every night? <laughs> is that mm. how it works? I can't remember because <laughs> I don't think we all have bath that often yeah. in Shanghai because of the cold weather and mm. the people are not keen on having bath I think mm. every time we, if you have a person who has a hotel room we all go there and have a bath <laughs> <laughs> so who would have a hotel room who, who, who? Uh, well, if you have a friend who has a you know things like that yeah. we all go there and everybody have a bath <laughs> there <laughs> Were, were hotel rooms at the time is is just a bath like similar as hotel rooms now, right? Yeah, similar, but old but, fashioned. But one. you don't get the little shampoos and things. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't have. I've never seen any shampoo till I went to England. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we just use soap, ordinary soap, and then when you wash your hair, you use the harder soap <laughs> instead of the, the soft, nice soap. The, yeah. Oh, because it's cheaper. Yeah, it, it's cheaper. Um, and did you make much of your stuff at home? Like, do, do you remember? Like, did your family have to make like make soap, or you just everything's no, just purchased? Just purchased. You just purchased. 
at that time, in, people don't make things like that because it takes a long time. Or unless you're coming from the village, yeah, you want to save money, so you make your own soap. Yeah, so everything was just you just earn money yeah. and then you just um, yeah. do it that way. But if your if your mum was a housewife, what 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 was her job? Like you know, nowadays when you say housewife, they you know cooking, mm-hmm. they're cleaning, but you had a maid. Yeah. Well, she gets up very late mm. as usual. <laughs> And then I think sometimes she goes to the market. Mm. I don't know why the yeah. Sometimes she goes to the market. Sometimes the maid goes. I think, mm. and she buys things and come home and uh, have an afternoon nap. <laughs> and uh, well, that's all I remember. Yeah, I don't think my mother doing much, you know. Yeah, and then the maid would come and ask her what to what do you want to eat what you know what's on the menu things like mm-hmm. that and then she give orders and they go and do it mm. and so would you say that your family at the time at this time of life was upper class middle class or how does it i would say middle upper middle upper okay yeah so. not really up uh, yeah. but you're very well off and mm-hmm. then you're not worried about money mm-hmm or at least I don't think so. Yeah. And uh, whatever you want, your your parents will get it for you. Mm-hmm. And were you? Uh, uh, so I was going to ask how did how did your parents meet? They meet at a dancing hall. And that's the normal social activity. It's kind of like what we would go to the pub or the bar. No, no. That that was uh, in Shanghai. A dancing hall is a place you have a lot of girls there as a dancing girls and you go there and you pick who you want to dance with mm-hmm. I think my mother was working there as mm-hmm. a dancing girl mm-hmm. since she was 16 yeah and um, that's very common that was common to go to dancing clubs well for those uh, university world? students mm-hmm. they all go there yeah and it's just ballroom dancing is that when no, you no, that? not ballroom dancing. They, they, it's social dance. Oh, social dance. Not ballroom dancing. Oh. To me, that's, a, that's ballroom <laughs> dancing. <laughs> it's just social dance. Mm-hmm. And uh, they have to learn how to dance mm-hmm. and uh, then how to fit into every customer how they dance. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a hard work to me, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so how old was your, your uh, mum when she got married to your dad? I think she was 19. Mm-hmm. What she, yeah, she okay. was 18 or 19. Mm-hmm. So still very young. Yeah, very yeah. young. Yeah. She had me when she's four, uh, 20. Ah, so okay, yes. My and brother would be six. She's, I think she's about 18. Yeah. Must be. Yeah. And was, would you say that at the time it was a very conservative time? Like, was it... You can imagine it's a conservative time, but not to them. I don't think so. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Because it wasn't like they, they got married before they had Uncle Patrick, right? No. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. It was uh, quite a disaster because oh. <laughs> my father has to go to some somewhere away from Shanghai to do some business. And... Uh, he didn't want my mother to go wild outside, so he placed my mother in his grandmother's place. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the grandmother that lived to 95. Yeah. yeah. Then she had a very hard time from the uh, grandmother's daughter and uh, oh, because yeah. they looked down at her. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was very tough. <laughs> mm-hmm. So anyway, she, she went through quite a bit before they can get married. Mm-hmm. So did they, were they, were they, um, did they live together or how does it work back in well, the day? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't ask. <laughs> so, but, I should think so. Yeah. But Uncle Patrick was born after they got married. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So nothing, nothing, nothing untoward to their, no, no shotgun no, marriage. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good, good. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Do you, do you have any stories of how, how your dad was wooing your mum? Well, I don't know. I, I didn't see anything that to remember. Mm. 
but from what my mother says, I heard. My father was a typical plague boy, I think. <laughs> That's how he got expelled from all these oh. universities. <laughs> And did he, did he always live in Shanghai or did he went to different places to study? He studied in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Mo I think almost all the univers university he went <laughs> and got expelled at yeah. the last year. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so um, it took him a while to become, you know, to, to come out. To finish his degree, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. sounds, to, it sounds, sounds like it was a tough, tough yeah. to get into university as well. I don't think so. Oh, I think he, he he was he was a clever boy. I think he went in all right. Mm. It's only his behavior make him has to be expelled. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you can think of in those early early years or your your history of your your parents that you think that was interesting? Don't know. I think their marriage is not, or their courtship is not a smooth sailing thing. Mm. So they, they've been up and down, up and down. My mother suffered quite a lot mm. from his womanizing and uh, his family's pressure. And being my mother, you know, being quite low in the, at the family's level looking. Mm. And, uh, but she was tough too. She, she went through and, uh, got hold of everything. Mm. She sounds very clever. So she, did she have siblings? Well, she was adopted from a family of nine children. And, uh, my sort of from the grandfather on my mother's side, I know mm -hmm. he was very fond of her and, uh, they wanted this girl, they adopted this girl because they couldn't have any sons. Mm. So my mother's nickname was Gendi, uh, which means followed by a brother. Uh. So anyway, uh, he was, uh, she was very, uh, how can you say, self-centered and the grandfather really loved her and because she brought in quite a few brothers, but they never survived. Oh. After they died, from what I know now, I think they all died with tetanus. Oh. Because from what my mother says, they about one year a bit, and they start to sort of clean their mouth and things like that, and then go. Oh. Just, you know, when a little older than one year. Mm. And uh, a few boys, died they came but they died <laughs> uh, so did did she have any siblings by the time she was yeah yeah oh, okay. and finally and uh, i think my grandfather m married a very young woman and uh, had a another boy oh, okay. yeah and hmm. um, i guess one story i want to tell you about my mother hmm. she was adopted to the family where my uh, grandfather was very carefree man who, who would just have a few drinks and go here and there and just being the big boss and people mm. he had about three barbershop and so my mother's always with him to have a little drink and you know a little girl following the father so I think when my mum was uh, 14 or something, the family, I think, went through quite a bit of hardship. So she met a man uh, in the grocery shop. Mm. It's not like a grocery shop. It's it's a shop. You, you can buy rice and, uh, you know, all, the, all mm. sort of things. So she sort of uh this man would give her things mm -hmm. like rice and uh, cooking oil things like that 
and then I think she became pregnant by that woman, mm. by that man, mm -hmm. and he's married and had wife and children. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't think how she went through. She was only fifteen, and she had a baby. Oh, it was a boy, and uh, so my grandfather said that was his baby. So. Uh, it's his, it's her brother then. Yeah, yeah. So they brought her up as a big uncle. Right. Yeah. yeah I think you've told me this before. Yeah, yeah. So what happened to this uncle? It's, it's he's around. He he's around. and they, in, uh, he came to our house quite a bit and uh, helped looking after all of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he's got TB and uh, tuberculosis mm. then. Then. After we came to Hong Kong, I think he got married and he got. Anyway, he got lost and he, you know how China is, things like that always happen. And then, I think he died eventually. Mm. Uh, my mother went to Shanghai once and found out that he was dead, and uh, she didn't. She wasn't sad. She just told me that he wasn't a good man after all. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was a long, it's a sad story to hear mm. that. Yeah. Uh, especially when you think your mother's only 15 mm. and have a baby. Yeah. Don't mm. know. That's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why uncle's Tommy said, you have to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can Does he know that. this story? He knew a bit, yeah. but he wanted to confirm with me because what he heard is, what I heard was when I, when we were little, uh, if you get sick, you get to sleep with the mother. So uh -huh. I, I was sick, so I was sleeping with my mother. And that was before we came, uh, we leave uh, Shanghai. And... Uh, he called him in and uh, told him the whole story, mm. uh, the birth story of him, his life and things like that. And they both cried, I think. I heard that. I didn't say anything. Mm. Later on, when my mother found out that I knew, she asked me, how did I knew? I said, I heard you telling him. <laughs> <laughs> and how old do you think he was at that time? Because you would have, you would have been young. Yeah, I was about nine. Oh, you're nine at that time already. Just before we leave Shanghai. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was eight or nine. I can't yeah. remember now. Yeah. So he would have been another five years on top of that. Uh, let's see. He would be. My mother was fifteen. So five years difference between you and him. No, no more than that, because my mother would be was fifteen. Hmm. And then was twenty, yeah, yeah five, so five years, five yeah, years so five years. Yeah. So he would have only been fourteen. He's bigger than that, yeah. But hang on, you you were nine, so he's fourteen. Well, <laughs> at that time, when I look at him, he, yeah, he, because I think he must be about seventeen or something. I can't remember mm. because they were sending him to Qingdao to do some apprenticeship mm. or something like that. Because my mother has to arrange everything before we left Shanghai. Mm. But keep in mind, you went to, to England when you were very young. Yeah. yeah. So maybe he was only 14. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember because at that time, you see, everyone is bigger. Yeah, yeah. 